YouTube. I've got the awkward situation of my daughter sitting to the right of me watching me do this. So those of you who are joining later, you're just gonna have to with me while I welcome a few people on. If you uh, can hear me, wanna make sure you can hear me, give me a thumbs up, all that, all that nonsense because I wanna make sure that I'm not talking to myself right now. So make sure the chat is on. There we go, see some chat. Casino, welcome. Can you hear me? There's a happy Saturday from Six Ruggery. I hope I'm saying that right. I've got Newtomic Unlimited Vintage. I have the March and April mixes that have, uh, that have shown up. And uh, from Japan Booster, I put links in the description to two, their eBay store, which all this stuff is currently there unless it's sold out, but I don't, I, I think there's probably a lot of them. Um, and then, wow, we got Greece and Trinidad here. That's awesome. And then I also put up a link to their pre-order store. They've got a website, japanbooster.com, where you can pre-order and there's some amazing stuff coming up. They just made the fall mixes live and you'll just have to go check that out at japanbooster.com and you can pre-order. And that's the best way to do it. You order enough, you get free shipping. I would say, and I've said this before, these are not cheap models, Tomika Limited Vintage, but they're totally worth it. And find a friend. Pick out what you guys want, order a few of them, you get the free shipping, and then, you know, share that. You can share the cost for that. I think that's the way to do it. So anyway, I've been wanting to do this. This is a good, uh, I like doing these live streams over the weekend. I'm going to try and say hello to you guys as we go. If you have any questions, I'll try and answer them. Uh, Lena already sees an S2000. I'm going to move that stuff over here. That's the, uh, yes, you do, right there. And uh, that's the may mix here over there right here that or that no i'm sorry that's the april mix and we'll do that last we'll do the march stuff first so let's get right to it there's just a ton of stuff i can probably if i move this down i can turn on the turntable we can just have ourselves a whole little display so here we go uh this is how they come from tomica limited vintage another reason to use them hello crazy kids Saturday's going great. Did the whatnot stream this morning. Nissan said direct SEMA type type two limited. Um, when Japan Booster sends them, they send them not only in the box that they came in, but they put this kind of protector over it. So it's really nice because some, for some of us, the box doesn't matter. For many, many people, the box does. And so it's really nice that they keep them protected to the point that if Japan Booster gets a box that's not mint, they're not going to sell it. Uh, until their damaged box sale at the end of the year they do over Christmas time. So this is one of those like you get the you get the models like the RX7 that's everybody you know all over the world likes but these but they still the bread and butter of Tomica Limited Vintage is these kind of road cars and things like that that just nice and plain but beautifully replicated and check that out. Always trying to get these in focus that's always something to do. When you're live streaming, I have I can't go up as up close as I like to, and that's one of the disadvantages of live streaming on these apps because they're not used to such small objects. But these are perfectly to um, these are perfectly to scale. You almost always get a response on a premiere or a comment. It feels good. I I'm glad you're saying that because it doesn't happen a ton. I try to. If I see it, I'll respond, but so many times the comments come in too quickly and I'm just rambling on about these cars. I wish I could get this more in focus, guys. I'm sorry about that. Aloha wants to see the white lamb, but we will definitely get to it. I'll put that there so you can look at it. I'm gonna try and keep myself organized here because the one thing that happens after I stream is, oops. Um, I have to clean up the mess. So, um, see, I'm already screwing up here. There we go. There we go. I'll leave the box like that. If I lower this just a tad, I'm sure we could get, give me a second here, guys. I'm sorry, friends, folks. If we play with this angle a little bit, get it just slightly more up close okay 
You want to see my face? Well, it ain't going to happen. Sorry, man. Just chilling here on a Saturday. There we go. Are they all 164? Yes. Everything is 164 completely to scale. And uh, somewhat out of focus. There we go. I think that'll work. All right. Sorry, guys. This is just... When you're watching this that's not live, you get to fast forward through this stuff. But when it is live, <laughs> and then it also means that I got to do this to kind of show you because sometimes the packaging is bigger. I'm not going to open this one because it's the same car, but it's the Japanese era. This is something that they do where they show the, it's a special series that they do. The only problem is I can't read it because it's in Japanese. And I don't know exactly what they're saying there and who the, uh, sorry, now I'm going to move this out of the way, who this person is. If you can read Japanese. Uh, maybe she, maybe it's someone who works for the company and this is her car or something like that. I'm not entirely sure, but, um, uh, that's the car. So it's the same car that's on the turntable now, just in white. And because of the, we got a lot of cars to get to. I'm just going to leave that one packaged for now. How do I get hold of you? Maybe email or signature on a purchase from today. I, message me. It's hard for me to do um, just because I have so much going on. I was telling people to do that, but because I travel so much and because of, I mean, I'm going to be out of town most of May and June. Um, it's really hard for me to promise anything, but who knows? Uh, maybe there's something we can do. So that's what I would do. You can email me, that sort of stuff. All right, that's that. Let's, uh, let's have a look at the bus here. Isuzu Ergo, Isuzu Ergo, we've seen several of these uh, released of late. Also in these plastic protectors. I'm going up a little higher. I've got to be able to kind of see everything here. That's the thing about being live. I can uh, get space and talks with the Tarmac Works team. There you go. trying to think what this one is can't totally tell maybe it says on the back yeah I can't totally tell all right where do you buy these I put a link to Japan booster in the uh, description you can buy them at a lot of different stores there's they're on sale in Japan of course um, but if you if you are in other parts of the world, I really do, um, you know, Japan Booster is a partner of Lamley's, but I would also, I also advocate for them because they will ship for free. You, you spend enough money, they will ship for free. And like I've said a hundred times, you just partner with a friend and um, let's see if that'll stay on. There you go. Well, here, I'll show you. Partner with a friend and buy what you want and then ship together and you get that free shipping. These things are so detailed to scale, of course. When am I going to do a Tarmac Works opening? Soon. I've got a few coming in. So I'll, don't worry. There's going, to be, there's going to be a whole whatnot Tarmac Works stream here soon. So these buses are incredible. And even you can see how they do the wheels too. They're just replicated beautifully. There's the inside. Wish I could get up close, but it's just hard to do that. So there is that. You know, you can put the Cedric next to it here, and you can kind of get a sense of scale. So that would be exactly like a real Cedric next to a real bus, maybe at a stoplight or something like that. So really, really cool. And then speaking of scale, the here's the Hino HH341 tractor head. So they do some trailers. See, I gotta move this over again. They do trailers, um, so, and sometimes they just do the cabs, and you can interchange them if you want to. This is one of those where the mirrors you can add if you want to. I don't. How often do NFTs go on sale? When they can, when they have them ready to sell. So I don't think there's a specific interval between 
series, but oh, this thing is great. Let's get this back together. She can take a look at this. I'll put the bus over here and the Cedric. Uh, so far, everything I've ordered seems to show up faster. Yeah, they're re really good at shipping. Japan Booster, check this thing out. Right here. Okay, so what car do I drive? I drive a Subaru Outback. Um, here you go. Am I going to sell the NFT Seville, the one I got? Uh, well, no, I don't think so. It all depends. I'd like to keep it. But who knows if it's an extra, if I end up having an extra, then maybe. Um, or I'll give it away or something like that. Do they do wholesale? I don't know. That's a good question. I don't think they do. You're talking about Japan Booster. So this one has the ability to carry a trailer, and they've got several trailers, and they do this cab a lot. I don't know if this is a particular kind of... Usually they replicate things like that, but like factory paint schemes. So my assumption is that would be the case here. There's the bottom. See, everything is to detail. They don't, they don't cut any corners at all. And that's why these trucks and buses and stuff can be pretty expensive, but, but worth it. And I, you know, I don't, I would say that it's probably worth some collectors. Yes. But some, if you don't really are into trucks or buses, um, maybe you don't get all of them, but I do highly suggest if you've got a few Tommy Limited Vintage in the collection, I really suggest buying one or two of the buses and the trucks because they're totally worth it. All right, what else we got here? Let's do the Lamborghini and we can do the RX-7s. What scale is semi? 164. Everything here is 164. Everything. So that would be the Cedric compared to the Hino cab. Um... Do the front wheels turn? Not on this one, no. I don't think so. Yeah, they don't. All right, so Lamborghini, sorry, I started opening it. Here you go. There's the, they do a different box here. It's like a thicker box. 25th anniversary Countach in white. They have this little, so you open the box of this insert. Obviously I can't read all of that. That just goes back inside of the top of the box. Here is the car. Again, I'm going to move all this stuff. So they've started to do these sports cars more of late. Obviously, they have the Ferrari license. They sub sublet or sub license the Ferrari license from China. And so they've been doing some amazing Ferraris and also these incredible Lamborghinis as well. Mira and a couple others. I'm not that one of them has kind of an issue with the doors, but this one actually has opening parts on it. Um, I can show you how these open. So they have the scissor doors on them. There you go. And then they also the rear opens as well. The engines in black, so it's hard to see here. But check that thing out. I'll just show you up sideways like this. <laughs> yeah. yeah, do I like this one? Yes, of course I do. And yes, it is in white. So it could even be, this is, I would say this is a little bit, it isn't that bright, bright white that you see on some. But uh, yeah, I wish this was a Lamley edition. I don't have a, I don't have a relationship with uh, Tomica Limited Vintage. Uh, it's more with Japan Booster, so I, you know, it would be fun to do one. I would do a Lamley exclusive in a heartbeat. So, this thing's just amazing. Rear's great, too. There's that. And while that turns around, let's do the RX-7s. I'll open them up together. I'm going to take them off the camera just a little bit. Yeah, we'll get to the S2K eventually. We gotta get through the March release first. You're looking at the prices and are all those prices for one car 
most likely are you on the Japan Booster website or eBay? Yeah, these aren't cheap, but I mean, if you look at them with the shocks and everything else, these are just, this is just a different level. It's just, it's just a different kind of die cast 164 collecting. So, um, let me try, I'm trying to open this up and I can't, there we go. So we've got a few sports cars, Mazda RX-7. I should show you the box. Type RS in silver. You can put the mirrors on on that one. I don't, like I said. Um, and then black, we'll take a look at both of these up close. All right, Lamborghini gets to go on top of the bus for no reason. Here it is nice and clean. I really like the color on this one. They try and replicate the paint colors as close as they can. Sunday morning in Australia, I'm looking at your comments here. Everyone wants to see me. Well, you're not gonna see me today, so quit asking. <laughs> There's times I show my face in interviews and you can obviously come say hi if you're at an event. I'll be in Malaysia next month. You can come say hi to me there if you're there. Headlight details are incredible. These are just amazing. And this is the Mazda. Mazda badging and everything else. Here's the black one. Same car, I think. Yeah, Type RS, both of them. They've done a few of these RX-7s. I've got these away in storage right now, just temporarily. So I'd, I'd bring all the other ones out if I could, but I don't have them. And who cares? You just want to look at this one. The wheels are so nice. And if you don't know, one of the reasons it makes these expensive is these do have shocks. So you can see that. And they roll as smooth as any car. So they've got not only the rubber tires, the two-piece tires, and all the incredible detail. I've mentioned this, they'll only replicate these cars if they can get an actual one in the studio to, um, to review and get all the details on. And even in 164, they try and get as many details as they can fit in there. And then, yeah, you add to the fact that these roll smooth. I'm only doing that on that. I could, I could actually, you wanna see how they roll? I could do this just bring out my laptop you can just see how smooth they roll so you know even without the padded lamley thing there it's you can see on the laptop Size comparison between RX-7 and Countach, it's like we're sitting next to each other in traffic lights. It's exactly what it is. These are totally, perfectly to scale. Um, I just, I can't reiterate enough. Like, these are worth every penny. You know, people are, I, I it just depends on, um, it just depends on, you know, I kind of will show different cars. And if I show Hot Wheels, people say, oh my gosh, that, that car's too expensive or too cheap. They need, they need to charge more. And then, you know, I show two expensive cars. Oh, these are too expensive and they're worth, it's just, everything is just a different. Yeah, of course they have rubber tires. Um, need a job like Lamley. I have a real job too. So there you go. There are the two RX-7s. I think that's it for the March mix. Let's get to the May mix. Putting these over here. Actually, I'll put the Cedric. If you want to see these RX-7s, right? I'm not paying any attention to the layout of these of these pads. All right, let's let's do this. Let's. We've got S2000s and we've got the two Toyota Toyota Hilux four-wheel drive pickups. We'll open those up first. Get out of these. Diecast life and death. You've been buying them since the pocket cars. I remember having a couple of those myself as a young kid. We'll take a look at these. These are incredibly detailed too. And here, I'll look at those in a second here. 
we'll open both, but there's the white one. Detailing, just different details. You don't, I guess we can put that right there while we open up the other one. Am I a busy guy? Yes, I am. We did the whatnot stream today, but it's all fun. You know, I have a real job, this is my weekend, but I figured if I have a minute to stream, I was gonna do it. And uh, probably won't be on as long because I've got to make dinner too. So here on this chill Saturday night, my wife is a, she's getting her master's in art history and she has been working just crazily on finishing up for the semester. And my oldest daughter graduates from the University of Utah next week and she's working like crazy. So I'm doing this and then we're going to, we're going to finish off soon and go make dinner. So she's home, she's here for the, she came home to stop by to study here on the patio. And uh, so we'll make dinner anyway. But I wanted to do this, I had some time. What's for dinner? We'll figure that out. We don't know yet. Maybe some soup. All right, look at this thing. Just incredible, super detailed. Double cab Hilux. Hilux, Helix, this one has the mirrors on it. You don't have to put them on. Lena's starting school again. Congrats, that's awesome. Yeah, my wife, uh, we're not school age by any means. You know, we have grown children, but she wanted to go back and get her master's in art history and it's awesome. It's awesome to watch. She works every second on it, doing all this research and everything else, but it's fantastic. These things are great. I'll move the, uh, you know, it's kind of funny. She's, she's out doing all this, you know, learning all this amazing stuff like Middle Eastern art and all this other stuff. And I'm showing toy cars to people on my phone. It really is funny, <laughs> you know, but we each do what we do, you know? Doing the Lamley thing, it's always interesting doing the collabs. That's what's uh, it's a very satisfying element of this. So working with different people, meeting different people, designers, all that stuff. So it's worth it for me too, but it does seem like we're on two different planets. All right. All right, Honda S2000, different packaging. A few of these get this kind of, uh, kind of special packaging. Nicholas says they both are art. Oh, that's for sure. If you guys saw the uh, customs that I was showcasing on whatnot th uh, this morning, um, you can kind of see, you know, coming from my wife being in the art world for so long and she works at a museum and everything else, this idea of curating art, you know, I've been around it and I've learned from it. And um, that's why I kind of have that Lamley curations line that we're doing because I feel like it's, I can be a gallery owner and I can curate amazing art and, you know, I kind of, be that create visibility for really really good artists in the diecast world all right let's open these up it's cool it's been a really fun development to kind of work on this stuff work with artists and everything else and yeah i mean i totally agree oh look at this we've got we've got pieces we got to add now i don't know if i'm going to open these up now but you can see there's a roof and like a soft top like a rolled down soft top that you can add to this car oh man i'm gonna have to really debate here I you know what I'm not gonna open I'm not gonna open those pieces yet when I display them I'll decide which one I want to display with here's the model this is gorgeous so I can put obviously the hard top on there here's a picture of it with the hard top I'd probably display these because they have the other soft top ones like like full convertible ones I would probably do the hard top on these because they're just cool that way. But that's when it comes time to display them, which is going to be a little bit because I'm working on some stuff. So, Hot Wheels to learn. Well, no, I, Billy, here's where I disagree with you. Hot Wheels is a master at doing what they do with the $1 and the $6 level with premium and basic. Tomica Limited Vintage is a master at what they do. These are completely different uh, approaches. I, I, I always get fed up, um, people saying like mini GTC, they, you know, mini GT is so much better than Hot Wheels. No, mini GT is a different product than Hot Wheels. Like it's almost saying like, you know, Hot Wheels should learn from Mercedes Benz and learn how to make a car that we can actually drive. Well, that would make no sense, right? There's this picture. So it's just, I just think, you know, <laughs> who sells the most? Hot Wheels does. So clearly they've got some stuff figured out. 
I just don't see any reason to compare the two. You know, it, it, sometimes there's sometimes there's things that are worth comparing just to see what was Hot Wheels take on this on the S2000, and what was Tomica Limited Vintage's take. But you know, it's comparing apples and oranges. Honestly, look at this yellow one. Oh my gosh, that's amazing. And that's why I collect both brands. Like I don't take one for the other. I have a ton of Tomica Limited Vintage and I have a ton of Hot Wheels and I get excited for both releases. So I'm not picking on you, Billy, sorry, but I just, I always just feel like that's a, I always like to make that point. So there's those pieces as well. There's that. Now, if you wanted to compare like Hot Wheels Elite 64 to Mini GT, you probably could do that. I think that probably would make some sense. All right, this is awesome too. Again, I wish I could get more close up. But I can always take some pictures and I probably will put them on Instagram. And as always to scale, in fact, let's take the blue one and add the truck to it. So you can kind of see how those match to scale. Aren't these great? Here, we'll even put the RX-7 on there too. Ah, so cool. TLV is probably cheaper than some, well, some cars probably are. Okay, guys, this is the last. Sorry, guys, got disconnected for a second. Hopefully I wasn't gone too long. Um, there you go. Am I back? If you guys give me a thumbs up, I want to make sure that I'm back. Um, so there's the test car. We back though? Can you guys let me know, let me know, let me know. All right, I've seen some thumbs up. All right, Lena, thank you. All right, so there's that. So this is the car. It's a GTR, but it's done by this Ital design. So it's like a, I guess you'd call it a custom or a special edition. I'm not entirely sure, but it, this thing is, I've been really eager to open this one up. I have not seen it. So we're going to do that right now. Again, like always, totally to scale. Look at that. Oh my gosh, look at the rear portion of that. Again, I wish I could get it totally in focus. So it's a GTR, but it's not kind of thing. Look at that. There's another one coming uh, next month, too. There's clearly some details on the interior here. I hope I don't drop it. I can't totally, that, it's a really narrow window, and so it's really hard to tell what's going on inside. But you can see the, see the brake calipers there. If I, I mean, this is an incredible model. They've done a lot of GTRs. And this one obviously is very different from what they've done before. That's incredible. So yeah, there's a second one coming next month. There you go, guys. This is the Tomica Limited Vintage. I'll stick on for another few minutes since we froze for a second and uh, answer any questions if you guys want to. Do I have a Hot Wheels tune collection? Not really. Do I know if there's going to be any difference between the newer red and black super silhouette and the older one? Uh, are you talking about the Tomica Limited Vintage? Um, there'll be some slight differences. There might be a different edition of the, um, if you, all of them, the, all of them look fairly similar, but there are some differences. What camera do I use to film the vids? If you look in the glare there, you can see it. I just use an iPhone. That way, iPhone makes it great because that may, means I can film anywhere. I can shoot like little quick shorts really quick if I'm in a store. I can sit out here. Um, I love using my phone because I don't want to carry a lot of equipment around. Carry around a tripod when I travel and a little microphone. That's it. And my phone. I use my phone for everything. When I shoot actual studio pics, I don't. But everything else, everything else I use my phone. So... So if, if uh, 
Apple does a serious upgrade of their camera on the next iPhone, I'll buy it for sure. Do I have the Hot Wheels Team Transport Ewer hauler articulated? Not yet. Any releasable information on the second color of the 560? It's uh, silver. Didn't they preview that at the convention? I think it's going to be silver. There's so many known brands of die cast. What would be my top three brands? Well, I'll tell you which brands I collect, and that will probably answer your question. I collect Hot Wheels, Matchbox, Tomica Limited Vintage, Auto World, Tarmac Works Global 64, and Mini GT. Other brands, I like a ton of other brands, but um, I just, I have to stop somewhere. And to me, it's hard to just have one car from one brand. Occasionally I'll, I'll do that, but very rarely. Love the macro lens on the iPhone. Yeah, if, if I, if you guys notice sometimes when I'm filming, Lena makes a good point, it's hard to do it on the camera that whatever YouTube uses. Filming will allow that, obviously. Not on this, uh, not on this setting that you use. If there's a way to change that setting, I would do it because I would love to show these more up close. But anyway, um, what is the camera used for studio pictures? It's a Canon. I can't remember the the model, the model. But I've said this before. You can you can have a pretty standard camera for those kind of studio shots. It's the lighting that counts the most. Live from Berlin, very nice. Um, I'm cutting out, is that what you're saying? I wonder if uh, someone else is streaming or something somewhere else. It's back to normal. I'm gonna be getting off of here pretty soon. So I apologize if it has gotten a little choppy. I think once it uploads, it'll be good. I'll answer a couple more questions then I'm gonna, I'm gonna head out. Mexico City. Some of you guys were on the YouTube stream today. I hope you enjoyed that. That was fun. Do I like M2 machines? I do, Michael. I do. I just don't collect them. You're welcome, Lena. Yeah, the Nissan is super cool. I'm with you. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have to do some close-up photographs of that because it's just something. It's really detailed. Have I ever been to Australia? Nope, but hope to be someday. Maybe we'll do an event out there or something, or I'll come and visit an event. Greetings from Romania. Nice. Uh, it's nice to see. Show us your rocket oils. I only have one. I only have the Gulf one. I don't have it with me. All right, guys. I am going to head on out. I'm hungry, and I know the family's hungry, so let's go make dinner. What is my most anticipated casting for 2023? It's the AMG SEC, and it's already out. But there's some good stuff coming in premium. We've we've uh, previewed some of that. Like I think the Lexus IS. Pretty excited about that. That's a good question to end on, guys. Hope you enjoy this. I'll show some other pictures. Thanks for watching. Those of you watching uh, later on when it's not a stream, hope you got uh, some good stuff out of it seeing some of these models. I'm trying to stream some more because it's nice to chat with you guys between whatnot, even some Instagram and here on YouTube. I'll do some more streaming. And I noticed that I can bring in guests, so maybe I'll start doing that too. Thanks, everybody. Bye.